say where, but I'm not quite sure that it is. There are two things that one could talk about more. I had two slides that I thought I would use if I had time, which I don't. But one has to do with what happened in the 1930s when the US opted for protectionism. The other question is what has actually happened to foreign holders of US debt? Now, besides the former, um, the, the reality is that in 1930s, the US enacted the Smooth Holy Pact that instituted the import tariffs. Initially, that seemed to work, but clearly it didn't. Other countries did the same. So the question is, when the US moves forward, that really doesn't tell us what will happen because so much depends on the reaction by other countries. And thereby, we, we can't really predict where it goes. We do know that countries do not want to rock the boat in this kind of situation, naturally. They would like to have stability. But I'm not quite sure it's possible, and I wonder how far uh, you, you have to go before people realize that you, you're maintaining, maintaining an illusion of a global currency where there is one, where there's none. Keynes, who was creating the system for the islands, the, the, the Bretton Woods system, 1940s, he warned Americans of placing it under the foundation of US dollar. His argument in the mid-1940s was that if you do this, it makes sense in 1944 when we are in Bretton Woods. It makes sense because he was replacing 50% of the world GDP. But if what happens is that other countries will catch up in Europe, Germany, uh, England, and so on and so forth, and if there's a fair amount of prosperity, the role of the dollar will lessen, and there will be a crisis. That happened in the 70s. Now you get rid of the gold standard, you get rid of the role of the dollar, you, you are a free world in currency, paper money. Uh, I think it's an extremely dangerous situation. My Chinese colleagues fear of it even more. So I wish that there were alternative arrangements that we could talk seriously. I wish that, for instance, the G20 could talk about this more seriously. But naturally, from the point of view of Washington, it's being seen as a threat. So you don't want to use dollar. Is this an anti-American object? To me, it's more about the world economy moving to multipolar direction, but it's held back, it's being held back by the unipolar dollar. So you have legacy aspects that prevent the, the normal, would otherwise be normal revolution. And that makes a difference. No, I don't see clear alternative arrangements, but that makes me wonder do we need a crisis to get there?